hello welcome welcome to a new year and a new video hope that you've all had a nice Christmas and start to the new year today's video we're going to look at improving the departure angle on the discovery what is a departure angle you ask let me show you come on so a departure angle is the angle at which you depart really let me show you so down here we have the wheel and the tow bar the tow bar is probably the lowest point on the rear of the car from the wheels the departure angle is from here up to the tow bar so that is the departure angle now I'm going to improve that by fitting a de detachable tow bar. Everyone that has a Discovery or Land Rover in general will know that the tow bar can act as a bit of a plough and it has for me a few times. It's saved my skin a few times as well which is good but yeah it's, um, it's one of the points that you get hung up on when you're off-road. This is a tow bar that I picked up off Facebook, off the marketplace. It is, um, I think it's the Terra Firma 2 inch um, drop plate receiver hitch. Um, it is a lot higher than the original tow bar, which means that I won't be catching the, the bar on the rocks and stuff when we're off-roading. And it also allows me to put a two inch receiver hitch into here and when we're not using it I can take it out and obviously then we won't have the the extra banging and all that kind of stuff but it's quite rusty it's quite manky so we're going to clean it up and give it a good coat of paint two inch drop plate receiver and that goes into there like that now the only downside is this is a second hand tow bar and there is a bit of elongation on this hole where the pin goes through so the plan is I'm going to grind that flat and then I've got some steel plate that I'm going to weld over it and drill out the hole so it's right. Right, so you can see here we've got if it focuses. Any time you feel like focusing. Anyway, it's all welded up both sides it's not the prettiest but I'll go over it with a flap disc and once it's got a bit of paint on you won't even notice it's there it's just gonna add a bit of strength to this whole tow bar anyway okay so I'm gonna confess I've made a bit of a boo-boo and um, the tow bar that I've bought after I've messed about grinding it up and welding plates and stuff on it doesn't fit the Land Rover. <laughs> I thought it was the same one as the Terra Firma one, um, but turns out it isn't. This is after I've bought the drop plate, the new pin, and wasted a lot of time grinding it back and welding plates on to make the, the pin go through nicely. Um, yeah, so. This is the tow bar here, and uh, I'm not too sure what that fits because these back light uh, holes line up, but the 
other two don't, so I'm not sure what that fits. Definitely isn't a discovery anyway. It's very frustrating. My plan was to paint that up and get it all fit, um, but it's just one of them things. I've tried to save a bit of money by buying that instead of buying a brand new one, and it's bit me in the ass. <laughs> so I'm going to see you in a couple of days when the new one arrives, and we'll get it fit to the car. Shoo! It's here, it's here. It's a gale out there. It's arrived. Um, obviously it's a bit too dark to be fitting it now, but we can have a look at it, can't we? The invoice. Well, the part number for this is TF. 874. It's a Terra Firma 2 inch drop plate. Terra Firma D1 2 inch receiver hitch. Card. Rubbish. More rubbish. More rubbish. More rubbish. More rubbish. More rubbish. More rubbish. The bar. That. A trusty knife. <laughs> it comes with a pin as well, which I've already bought, so I've got two. Not to worry. There we have it. First impressions, it looks quite good. There is a couple of little issues though. A um, little bit of paint chipping off here. Which uh, I wasn't going to paint it to be honest. I was just going to leave it as it is and just fit it. But, yeah, I'm not sure that that doesn't sound good, does it? I might have to flat it off and paint it in the truck bed liner that I was going to do anyway. Um, there's a few marks where the paint's chipped off. So, obviously, that and a bit of rain and salt and stuff, and it's just going to rust straight away. So, we need to try and stop that. Uh, another thing is down here there is a, a bolt not too sure what that's for you've got the pin and then there's a bolt don't know what that's for whether it's to tighten up the receiver yeah that's just going to flake off I mean it's a bit crap is that That isn't going to last at all. And there we've got a chip off. So if you are interested in buying this, factor in the fact that you might have to paint it. Yeah, other than that I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, it looks alright. Well that's it, the tow bar is now complete. It's all painted up in truck bed liner and uh, it looks quite smart quite pleased to solve the issue of the electric points I have bought this it's just a normal plate that you get off any tow bar sales place I got it off eBay cost me a fiver and um, it doesn't actually fit the tow bar where I want it to go so I've cut it in half so the plan is to mount this onto the vehicle but mount these in them holes there like that so the electric points will fit either side of the tow bar and they'll be tucked up out of the way for when this drop plate isn't attached obviously this wasn't big enough for them holes to line up so i cut it in half 
and now we can open it up a bit. So the next job is to get this part fit to the car. Comes with all the required mounting hardware, which is good, means you're not dealing with rusty bolts. Right, let's get it fit. We're now ready to fit the bar. Now I've looked at the hardware and I'm going to reuse the centre bolts because there's nothing wrong with them but I'm going to replace these side bolts with fresh new ones and new washers. Okay, welcome to another day. Um, yesterday I struggled and struggled and struggled to try and get the tow bar fit but one of the bolts that goes into the chassis it was just spinning it wasn't doing anything and I couldn't hold it and support it and screw it in at the same time. Uh, come to the conclusion that one of the bolts is starting to cross thread and I don't want to damage it anymore so what I've done is I've stripped the bumper off uh, took all the back bumper off it's also revealed a little bit of rust um, that I'm going to quickly file down and give it a quick coat of paint um, and I've took the bracket off the, the there's a bracket that goes on the back of the the bumper and that's what bolts it up into um, so I've took that off and I'm just going to re-thread the bolts that are on it before it gets too bad and then hopefully it should all just pop back on fingers crossed never works like that though so We'll see. <laughs> so this is the bracket. It actually slots over the bumper like that, and then you've got the four bolts that go through holding the um, the recovery eye on the back of the bumper. So it sits like that, and the bolts that we're using for the tow bar go up through and into these bolts that are welded onto the top. Unfortunately, it's been quite difficult to locate while you try to hold the tow bar and um, it started to cross thread a little bit so I've got the handy tap and die set out and we are just re-threading it it's a M5 by 1.75 thread There we go, now we'll just put the bolt in and that should screw through nice and easy. Turn into a bit more of a job removing the bumper and all that kind of stuff but um, I'd rather do that than cross thread it and ruin the nut and have to weld a new nut on there, just become a bigger job. Right, let's get this tow bar fit. So that goes on here. Like that. That way. That should do you ever do a job that turns out to be an absolute pain in the ass to do? That's what this tow bar has been. I've finally done it. I didn't film it all, I've just got it on and obviously it's raining now as well but this is the tow bar fitted. So you can see I've changed where I put the electric points, I mounted them differently because they just weren't sitting right on the tow bar bolts and yeah the bolts, these bolts, they weren't long enough to fit right through the chassis so I've had to re-thread some different bolts and uh, do it that way it worked out in the end but that was a ball ache and then these brackets where the electric points went they turned out to be different as well they're actually the originals that I've cut and changed and what I've done is I've rivnutted them to the chassis 
and then the wires run through here. Like I say, just a complete palaver to do. It was just a nightmare. Um, it took me a good few days to do it. Had to wait for bolts and things like that. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. It's very neatly tucked away. And um, one of the things that was annoying me about the the electric points was they, they just looked messy with that bracket on the bottom. So I managed to come up with that idea and bend a little bit of the old bracket and um, riv nut it to the to the chassis. So they should work quite well that way. And everything's tucked up neatly out of the way. Yeah, I think it looks quite smart. Also, while I was at it today, I um, just got on and got stuck in and fit the Rattelec steering guard. I think that looks quite smart as well. So I did do a post on the YouTube community page thing um, the other day saying that I would explain why the videos have been a bit hit and miss for the past two or three weeks and a lot's been going on. Um, I said I'd explain and this is me explaining. Um, just before Christmas my dad actually had a stroke and uh, yeah he was he was in a bad way um, so that was kind of all over the place I wasn't really in the right frame of mind to do any videos or anything like that um, and then obviously Christmas happened and I spent time with the family and then um, on Saturday my granddad passed away um, he was battling dementia for quite a long time and eventually he just gave up um, yeah so he's now at peace which is is good but obviously we, we all miss him so yeah again I've not felt like doing any videos whilst all this has been going on um, I just want to explain why it's been a bit all over the place and um, hopefully February will be a better month and we'll get some some trips and some more videos posted um, this tow bar job has been a bit of a nightmare I started it and had ideas of how to do it and have had to chop, chop and change and make it all completely different to how I wanted it to be um, like I say I bought that cheap second hand one trying to save money and it's actually cost me more money in the long run so if you can get a deal great but sometimes it does cost you more money <laughs> which it has this time um hope that you've enjoyed the video um and it's not dragged on too much i do apologize for it thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one bye for now